in need You can't count on me Like one, two, three, I'll be there Well, Misty, before we tell you about those elements, here's some background information on the periodic table and other elements. The periodic table is a list of all elements, natural and man-made. It's sorted out by the properties of their atoms. An atom is a basic unit of matter. A nucleus at the center contains protons and neutrons. Surrounding the nucleus is a cloud of moving electrons. The electrons are arranged in shells. In the e-cloud, shells or energy levels are areas where electrons tend to be found. The first shell holds up to two electrons, the second and third shells can hold up to eight. Big babe. Yes, Moby, it can hold up to eight. Well, the modern periodic table is arranged in order of increasing atomic numbers, or the number of protons in an element. It is arranged this way because it shows patterns that make it easier to read. The periodic table has up to 18 up and down columns, call groups, or families. Up and down, like that. It also has seven side rows called periods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the patterns that appear as you read the periodic table from left to right are that it goes from metals to semi-metals to non-metals. It also shows that, that the atomic mass increases and the elements have high reactivity to less reactivity to high reactivity and into unreactive. Now we can tell Miss D about her unknown elements. First, there's element 117. Because of the atomic number, the protons and electrons will be the same as 117. Baby! That's right, Moby. You have to subtract 117 from the mass number 292 to get 117 neutrons. On the periodic table, it will be hugging the bolded line with the semi-metals, therefore making it a semi-metal. Semi-metals condu conduct electricity, they are room temperature and brittle hard solids. They aren't malleable or ductile. It would also be somewhat reactive and somewhat corrosive. What do you say we name this element JC, Moby? Big beep! <laughs> yeah, it would be the only element that starts with a J. Let's say this element is used to make iPods sound better, clearer, and louder for those music-loving teens. Next, we have element 118. The atomic number and protons are the same, so it has 118 protons and electrons. Now, we subtract the atomic number from the mass number again and get 176 neutrons. It would be a nonmetal because it will belong into the group of inert gases. Some things about inert gases are that they are all gases, they are also all odorless and colorless. The inert gases are non-reactive and they rarely react with any other elements. We can name this element Artin. The use of Artin can be when changed to a liquid, it is a better gas for your car and you don't need much to go far. The third element we have is element 119. What do you think we should name this element, Moby? Vape vape! <laughs> Whiskus? Okay, we'll name element 119 Whiskus. Whiskus would have 19 protons and electrons, and after you subtract the mass number from the atomic number, you have 183 neutrons. Whiskus would be a semi-metal, and on the periodic table, it would belong to the group of alkali metals. Alka al alkali metals are soft, ductile, malleable, shiny metals. Plus, they are good conductors of heat and electricity. Alkali metals are highly reactive, but mostly with water. Oxygen also tarnishes them. Whiskers might be used to make fire like a match. Light a match, but instead of a little flame, it will be a full-on fire. Great for campfires. Bet that. Okay, fine, Moby. We'll get to your favorite element, number 143. Moby named this element Quanti. Quanti would have 143 protons and electrons. Then you subtract them and get 207 neutrons. If quanti was an element on the periodic table, it would belong to the transition metals group. It would, of course, be a metal and belong to the group of transition metals, which are hard. They also can conduct heat and electricity. Plus, they are ductile and malleable. Oxygen also tarnishes them over time. 
The use of quantity would be for the outer shells of cars. So if there's a crash, the metal wouldn't crush up and damage your car. Babe, babe. There are no more elements to be done, Moby. Babe, babe. Babe, 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 babe. in need. You can't count on me. Like one, two, three. I'll be there.